Hello YouTube, Robert Alvarez, the Psychic Witch, also known as Mr. Lighting on a Fan. Right now the time is approximately 10.45 p.m. Eastern Time, and the date is Monday, June 22nd, 2020. The moon is waxing in Cancer, and the sun is transiting in Cancer as well. Um, I wanted to do some, well first of all, normally I'd be doing this kind of video on my own, but tonight I have the honor and pleasure of having my awesome audiovisual person for my YouTube videos recording this video. So, here are the cards that I have cast for the period beginning today, Monday, June 22nd, through next Monday, June 29th, 2020. And I am using a different tarot deck and I'm using a different oracle card deck. So, um, the tarot deck that I'm using is called the Afro-Brazilian Tarot. And I'm going to have my awesome audiovisual person do a close-up of the deck. It is a Los Carabeo deck. It is um, a deck that I don't use that often, even though it is um, a part of my um, my secondary pantheon, the, Luc the Lucumi pantheon. And um, I'm definitely looking forward to reconnecting with this deck on a very deep level. And the Oracle card deck is called the Woman Rooms. I'm going to show you the um, title card, and then I'm going to show you the back of the card design, um, which is just gorgeous. It's this um, beautiful goddess tree or tree goddess with all of the different symbols that are depicted on um, the woman runes cards. Although I must admit, when I have a client who identifies as male, I call them the goddess runes cards. And I have a feeling that going forward I'll probably um, use the, that name for them. Um, it's so funny because I've always wanted to give a reading with um, the woman runes, goddess runes cards, and yet um, it just never happened. Like every time I would bring it to a psychic fair or to a private client or to giving readings at Notions and Potions, they never were drawn to the deck. And what I love about the deck is that I actually use um, the pendant that came with um, the deck, and I'm actually going to have my awesome audiovisual person do a close-up of the two charms. Um, the chain I purchased from a different Etsy shop, but these are the two charms that um, were a part of or came with the deck, and um, I'm actually going to have him do the back of the charms as well. And you can see it's the same design, only like, you know, one is large and one is small. But yeah, when I, whenever I cast the cards with the God, woman's runes, goddess runes deck, um, this is what I use. Okay, do that. So, for this period, from this today's Monday to next Monday, we have the Empress. Which is so funny because, um, you know, this is the card that I focused on in um, Pride Tarot more than a walkthrough. And um, it's so funny because I'm looking at her and she feels um, like Olugumare, but she also has this energy of, of um, Imoja. And the irony is that normally with the Empress card, and I even talked about this in that video, I would associate her with Oshun, because to me, Oshun is the enchanted empress. But I'm definitely getting this Imoja and Olugumare vibe. And what I'm going to say over the next seven days with the presence of this card is um, definitely become more aware of your power to attract the abundance that you most desire and need at the present time, whether it's financial abundance, whether it's health and well-being abundance, whether it's um, an abundance of joy, an abundance of peace, an abundance of harmony, or as I like to call it, divine order. And the card that I pulled from, okay, this is not a coincidence. The card that I pulled from the woman runes, goddess runes, is number three, the yoni. And it's so funny because, you know, the yoni, yoni is the Sanskrit word for vagina. And yoni is considered to be, um, I'm not sure how to say this, but it's, it's the sanctifying of the vagina. Um, 
it's it's almost as if to say the divine vagina would be yoni, or that's the equivalent. Um, so yeah, so so it's so funny how this theme of the divine feminine, of one's inner goddess, of um, of celebrating those um, feminine qualities, the receptivity, the ex the creative self-expression, the creativity, the artistic, the 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 playful, the soft, the feminine, the this, the that, you know, um, and it's so funny because um, the other thing that I'm getting from this card is, um, you know, look at what you want to create in your life, um, and because the number three is supremely prominent um, today, um, and especially in two different videos where the number three was like very front and center, I'm going to say look at the next three months. So look at the period between today, Monday, June 22nd, and July, August, September, and whatever day of the week September 22nd is uh, of this year, and see what you want to create. See what you want to create in your life, or create anew in a certain area of your life. Um, I'm definitely going to have um, uh, a lot more explanation. No, no, no. I'm not going to have more explanation about these cards because I feel like I've said too much about them already. But what I do feel is definitely with the presence of these two cards, focus on creating. Focus on um, maybe increasing um, the feminine characteristics you exude. Um, or if you feel like you're not exuding enough feminine energy, or if you're not tuning into enough feminine energy, see what that's like for you. Um, and as you see, <laughs> a portion of Durga's ear in the video. Um, I, I think I need to mention from now on that, you know, from time to time, any one of my cats will be in the video. Uh, that's Durga the cat, formerly known as Durga the kitten. Um, but as most of you know, I have four cats. I have Isis the alpha female, who is down here taking a nap. Um, she's come to love the, the, um, um, you know, I don't even know what this part of my desk is called. My beautiful new desk, but it's the, it's the part where one slides under. You know, that part. You know, she loves how much cooler it is, and how dark it is, and how much darker it is than the rest of the living room. Um, and then of course there's Corey, who is practically melting because it's too hot for her. Um, and then, of course, you've seen Durga the cat, falling in as Durga the kitten, and Bast the kitten, although she's more than two years old, but she's the youngest, so I call her the kitten. Um, she's around someplace, so yeah. So really tune into the feminine, tune into the divine feminine, and of course, keep in mind that in my part of the world, um, right now the sun is in Cancer, which is the sign of the mother, the human mother and the divine mother. So this is a great time to also look at um, acknowledging your maternal instincts, acknowledging and celebrating your maternal energies, um, and, and engaging in more activities that are nourishing and nurturing physically, emotionally, financially, spiritually, sexually, psychologically, energetically. And it's so funny, I instinctively place my left hand, the feminine hand, on my stomach, you know, where a fetus grows in a, in a, in a mother's body. So definitely look at how you need to mother yourself more often and see if there's a mother that you need to forgive. Whether you are a mother and you need to forgive yourself, or if you need to forgive your human mother, or if you need to have a chat with your divine mother, or as I call her, your celestial mother, the goddess who gave birth to your soul. But with that being said, YouTube, as always, thank you so much for honoring who I am and what I do. If any of you have either the Afro-Brazilian Tarot or the Woman Rooms decks, let me know in the comments. And with regards to the comments, please remember that with all of my videos, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And for those of you who have yet to take the divine plunge and dive deep into having an intuitive card reading with me, or availing yourself of my other psychic services, I strongly recommend you book your session now. Good night, and stay tuned for the next video.